everybody. We have a very special video for you guys. And when I tell y'all, I am so excited for today. We are here on Lake Okeechobee, our home pond, and Dad and I are gonna do a very special little tournament out of Rollins. Uh, it's just a one day deal, and uh, we did some practicing yesterday, found pretty good water of them, and I just hope that we just can crack a dirty 30 today. That would be pretty sick. It's just down there by the marina, so we literally have a .5 mile drive. So, <laughs> we gotta get going. We got some cool stuff. Some of my favorite baits to throw, chatterbait, spook. We got some swim baits. We're gonna crush oh. today. Oh, 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 well, good morning. They said east, northeast, 20. It's, it's, it's zero, north zero right now. North zero. I mean, it's dead calm. Dead yeah, it's really moon. not blowing right now at all. It's a full moon. Are you excited? Oh, I'm so excited. All right. So first of all, we practiced about two hours. Two hours, okay. I haven't been on the water since the Elite other than just a little bit we went yesterday. We don't know what we're gonna catch, right? I mean, we, th these guys that are fishing this tournament, there's 175 boats in this thing. They're the best of the best in the lake. Um, the lake's fishing really, really good right now, but the fish is small. So when you put 175 boats, you, you, there's just gonna be boats around. We don't have anything to ourselves. So it's kind of like a lot of boats around. I don't know what it's gonna do to some of that water, but I do know this. It's gonna take over 30 to win. Hopefully we can just check up a giant bag. It'd be awesome, huh? So there's gonna be boats around. And 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 let's say that you giant. have an eleven pounder on. I can't which freak is a, out. You gotta be like, I'm gonna just scoop it up and I might even get the measure board out. Be like ding ding ding. Like I'm measuring it. Like yeah. this might be a keeper or not. Because okay. we don't want people going, oh my god, that's the fifth one they've come by. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Gotta... A little defense today. Yep. Yes. So we're idling right now, you guys. Finally in the water. I just can't tell you how excited I am for today. Y'all probably wondering what glasses I have on, by the way. These are out of Rosemere or Lens. These are from Bahio. These are my cool glasses. They're my cute ones. They're called Soldados. So all my girlies out there, if you're curious what these are, they are Bahios. And they're my cute glasses. And I just wanted to feel cute this tournament. So. <laughs> I usually wear them to the beach. You look good, you play good. It's the same thing for fishing. Yeah. Yeah. No, I don't know. I landed on him, I think. <laughs> don't get it that way. Come on. Bring me to the back, to the back, to the back. Oh yeah, good one. Let's go. Here, I'll get it. Because we're gonna catch one bigger than that. Little 
don't even think it will go. It does not go. Yeah. He came off. It's okay. Yeah. Got hung up in some reeds. Fine. No, he's not. But he'll pull. I think. We've literally seen several 30 pound bags. In the middle of them, and we get bit. <laughs> Just two, two pounders. We're having fun. We're having fun. The problem is now it's too late. I hate going in somewhere. Exactly. I, I, I think we could just camp out here. Yeah, exactly. I think we could just camp out here all day. Lucky, get a few bonus bites here and there. It's fine. What did we say? Come on. Oh my gosh, that's a giant. Okay, I'm coming. I'm gonna unhook it for you. I'm gonna let you keep fishing after this. Dude. Oh, oh my gosh. Right here. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Dad, that's a giant. Dad, that is a giant, dude. Careful now. He might jump out of your hands. Dad, I got the fish. Trust me. Trust me when I tell you I got the fish. I probably just put my personal best in the box and it was your fish and that makes me mad. Any formal? Yeah, we were, so we were just talking about that, y'all. Literally, Dad and I were conversating. We were like trying to think of a game plan of what to do. And I tell you what, just said, we were like, I think we can stay in here and we just need five big bites. And I was like, I totally agree. Boom. And then we got one. No. Oh. Yeah, he is little. My luck. I almost want him to just come off. Well, that did nothing. It's okay. Oh, yeah. Feels big. There we go. Skiing.
Oh yeah, big one? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Good one, good one. You got him? Nice one. Bingo. There we go. No, but good. It'll cold. For sure. Jeez, that thing's long. That would have been a good one. Here, put that one in there for me. Those are cold, two of those in there. better oh yeah look at that wake much better Ooh, doubled up doubled up we both have big ones okay got it perfect double let's go I just got hit. It came off. I said it so slack. So slack. I don't think it really hooked them. I mean, I did, but maybe slow it down for a second. Oh, that sucks. There we go. It's gotta be a big one. It's gotta be. It's a big one. It's a big one. Let's go. Oh, oh, oh. oh my gosh. I knew the speed will work. Just dragging it, dude. Just dragging it, dude. Keep him coming. Let's go. Oh, that's the one we needed. Right here, Dad. I got it, I got it, I got it. Ready? Coming out. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Good job. Let's go. So, I decided to switch it up a little bit, guys, because as y'all saw, missed one top water on that spook. So, I was like, maybe I can just try to worm through there. So, I hooked on this June bug speed worm, the Gamagatsu action, a little straight shank worm hook, and this big mama showed up. So, that was good. That was good. Hmm?
right? Yep. Another big one. Oh yeah. Let's go. Seems like these fish. I don't know if he qualifies as number three though. He's close though. Yeah, he's close. But I think he'll call. Oh, he'll call for sure. It just seems like these fish aren't wanting to come up top water right now. Yeah. So I've just been dragging a worm, trying to pick up the stragglers, and it's been working. <laughs> I'll tell you guys, I'm so proud of her. She's about to go off to college, fish for the University of Alabama. And, oh, um, yeah, I am doing that. That's cool. So, I haven't told you all that yet. University of Alabama, UA. All right, well, let's keep going. We're, we're, not, we're not close to winning this tournament yet, but you know what? Um, if we can get really three big ones, we got a shot at this thing. It's going yeah. to take mid 30s. So we're not anywhere close to that, but we're having a great time. day update for y'all uh half obviously y'all know we have five in the well uh we need like what three more big ones fish are up shallow right now feeding on these bluegill so bluegill spawns going on right now so they're uh, feeding on these bluegill and you know they're in post spawn so they're real skinny if you can't tell like we'll catch like a four pounder and it's just super skinny so um they're definitely in post spawn right now and just feeding all these bluegill in here trying to get fat so So we just did another one. We need um look at there. That's small. Go figure. We need two more bites. We're getting there. I mean, come on now. We're getting there. Daddy, I got one. <laughs> Daddy, look at my fishy. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's funny. Alright. Fought and fought all day to finally get rid of the storm right here. We just got rid of the three and a half. Day's not over. We need to get we need to get a couple big biggins. I like dinks, but I didn't mean I liked them like this much. So that is a wrap. We are literally about to head in. We have about two minutes before we have to get going. Um, Dad's just finishing up back there, but y'all saw it all. We started culling towards the end, and that was just, Dad made some, had some really clutch fish there. I mean, giants. So I think we're sitting pretty good. Um, granted, there's going to be like probably 15 boats with 30 pound bags. I mean, we saw it all. It's a slugfest out here, so uh, we probably we definitely won't win it, but we, had a great time. we did have a great time. We caught a lot of fish. We did catch a lot of fish. Dad, 
I think it's about time. We gotta go. We do. I know. We have like a 20 minute run. Oh yeah. That was really fun. Super fun. We're gonna talk more at the boat ramp. So let's get going, guys. College, what a good way to end it. You guys fishing all year? Yeah, uh, yeah we are. Yeah, she's uh, still good. She'll be going to the University of Alabama to fish on the bass fishing team, so we're excited. Whoa, watch out, bass fisherman. And this girl can fish, right? She's unbelievable. I'd say it was a blessing to be able to fish with her today. She just stayed focused all day today. We, we chipped away at it. It was a lot of fun. I want to talk to you. Uh, how many did you catch today? Oh, quite a few. I mean, we were pulling all day. It was a great time. And you guys run right to your spot and get in the juice, or what was the game plan? Yes, sir. Exactly that. I mean, we were just circling in that same spot basically all day. So. Give me some baits, because you know your dad's going to hes gonna be a pro and not give me. I need some baits from you. Hook me up. You don't know not to lie yet, so tell me the truth, Hillary. All right. I will tell you, we did catch some really good ones on Poppin' Frog today. And uh, a little spook action, too. So. What? We did not 20, expect 29. basically 30 pounds. That's well, we didn't weigh any of them. Yeah, we Those, I, So that one was like an eight. Yeah, exactly. That's the difference. We had an eight and seven, and then we had a six. Yep. And then we had two four and a halves. So whatever that is is what we had. Yep. But listen, guys, this is probably... I mean, I don't know. Do you think this is the craziest weights you've ever seen in a tournament ever? It's the craziest weights I've ever been part of. Really? Craziest weights I've ever been part of. It definitely has been mine. I haven't been on this earth that long to yeah. see weights like this at a tournament. But listen, there is right now, I mean, I guess we can basically count our bag, but there's going to be over 20 bags with 30 pounds. That's just insane. We counted 18 already, but there's more people behind us at the way in. So... 20 bags over 30 pounds is like insane. That's the best. That's the best uh, I do. I do this for a living. I've been doing this for a long time. There is not another lake, not a public lake in the country that, can do that. that has that kind of weight. There's yeah. not. That's the world record. I'm just telling you, there's not another lake that's had there's that kind not. of weight. It's so ever. true. It's ever. so true. That's the record number one biggest bags today, right now. All right, so we're back at the house. Uh, Dad and I are gonna go get some dinner. Uh, we got caught up at weigh-ins, talking pounds. to people. Yeah. No, actually, twenty-nine fifty. Yeah, basically Come on, thirty. Man. That was insane. What an awesome day. It was. <laughs> that was definitely the best day of fishing I've ever had. That was. It was. It's uh, pretty. It's pretty hectic. I mean, it, we had like eight boats around us catching thirty-pound bags. It was, it was a lot. I mean, I, you know, here's the deal. Okeechobee right now is really, really good. Yep. Um, I don't know how much longer it's going to be like this. I mean, there's obviously little windows of great opportunities, and we hit one today for sure. I mean, those frog fish and top water and <laughs> yeah. all that was so awesome. So It's always fun. You can get you know, on top water, it's, right? Uh, it's cool. You know, hey, do me a favor. Before you jump off this, uh, we, there's a there's a thing that we started a few years ago, and, and it's where we're fighting for the health of Lake Okeechobee. Yep. It's called AFLO, Anglers for, for Lake, Lake Okeechobee. Okeechobee. And it's something that my, me and my family all are part of. Uh, we're posted on there all the time. We're, we're going to the meetings. We're, we're engaged heavily in, in the health of Lake Okeechobee. So here's what I'd love you to do. Uh, go follow the page, okay? Anglers for Lake Okeechobee. We need people like yourself that love the sport of fishing and that care about our resources to join the conversation. That's all I need. Just join the conversation with us. Help us when we need help. Yeah. And uh, keep pushing the narrative of we got to save Lake Okeechobee and not turn Lake Okeechobee into some silly reservoir just to hold a bunch of water. we got to get our filter back. we got to get our grass back. And we got to keep these big bass healthy and going. So, yeah. so that's it. That's all I have to say. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, smash that like button. Make sure you comment down below. And don't forget to come back for more videos. I love you guys, and we'll see you guys next time. Peace.